Alright, so in this video, we'll be using Xcode 8 in Swift 3 to create an app that'll search Google. So, um, basically this is based off the creating a web browser in Swift. So, uh, the project files for this will be in the description below, so if you want to download the Xcode file, you can. But anyways, uh, so what we're going to learn in this video is how to uh, program web views in Swift 3 and how to use it replace it, the string by replacing occurrence as a string. That's in Swift 2, but the Swift 3 version of that is a little bit different. So it's replacing occurrences of blah 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 with this. So basically what that means is Right here on Google, we search for Swift programming. Now, if we go to the URL, you can see instead of a space, there's a plus, and that's where string by replacing occurrences of string will come in. But, anyways, I've already created a new Xcode uh, project in Xcode 8 beta. Now, things may change, so yeah. I'm gonna change this to view as iPhone SE. And all right, let's get started. So first we're gonna drag a search bar up top. The placeholder for this will uh, be enter enter your search item here. And we're gonna make this a little bit smaller, bring that down just a little bit. E, we're gonna add a button. And this button is gonna be set to go. So let's make that just a little bit bigger. Let's gonna make that 17. We're gonna add a toolbar. We're going to copy the item and paste it three more times. So this is going to be back, forward. This one is going to be refresh. This one is going to be stop. So now we're going to search for a bar. And we're going to say, we're going to choose the flexible space bar button item. Add that between. Finally, a web view. Now, for some odd reason, the web view is clear, which I, I believe this is a bug. Anyways, you can still see as long as you click in the area. You can also go here in the view controller scene and select web view. Anyways, uh, I think that's just a bug. We're going to select the search bar. We're going to press command, select go, the toolbar, and the web view. And we're going to add the same constraints. And we're done here. So first of all, we are going to connect our search bar. I'm going to call this search. I'm going to call this uh, search. Uh, our web view. And before I do anything else, I'm going to select the back. Control click, go back, save for the forward, and save for the other two. Okay, so uh, that's done. And let's get started. So first of all, we're going to select our go. We're going to connect this to our view controller.swift file. This is going to be an action. And we, I uh, will call this go. So we are done there. Let's say let URL up oh, space URL equal ns URL string uh, quotation marks, and that's that. So in Google, I've searched Swift programming already, so I'm just going to copy this. The URL here. 
and I'm gonna delete this right here the Swift Plus programming so we're gonna say uh, backslash uh, parentheses that's gonna be search bar dot text or search dot text So dot replacing occurrences of string with string. So replacing occurrences of space. So we're gonna add a space with the string plus. So now we'll add the plus when it, it when it tries to search. We're gonna create a request. So let request equal ns url request url is the url oh url as you as url request so yeah um webview.load request is when we are going to use the uh, as URL request. So sorry about that, but anyways, so web view dot load request request as URL request. And uh, that should do it. So let's build and run. I got our simulator open up here. And so let's search for, uh, let's say, hello world. I'm gonna press go. So it searched Google for hello world. Now let's uh, search for, let's say, um, with that function. So let's search for that. It searched exactly what was in there. So we can go back for hello world, swift let. We can even refresh. We can stop loading. And so everything works. So uh, we have created an app just uh, that will search Google and hope you learned something from this search for me uh-huh here I am amazing so that's it for this video hope you did enjoy uh, do subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and of course I will leave the project file for this in the description below so uh, thanks for watching do subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video